All right, everyone, let's talk about heat of solution. First of all, heat of solution can also be described as heat of dissolution, like dissolving, or enthalpy of the solution. They all mean the same thing, and it's symbolized by a delta H S O L N on the AP exam, is how they symbolize that. In any case, the equation for the the enthalpy of solution or heat of solution is simply uh, the negative of the heat change to the solution divided by the moles of solute because typically your units for heat of solution or enthalpy of solution is kilojoules per mole or just joules per mole but more typically kilojoules per mole and the reason why this negative is here um, is because when you measure with the thermometer the temperature change you're really measuring the this Q of solution, the heat change of solution, it's really the surroundings. And I can draw a picture, I did draw a picture here to kind of illustrate that. So here's this clump of solute that's dissolving into the water. And when we stick our thermometer in, we're really measuring this surroundings, the, the dissolving process, the breaking up of bonds of the solute is happening here. And if energy is being released, it's being released to the water, really the solution surrounding it. So hence the negative sign. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, if we want to solve for this Q, the heat change of the solution, it is simply the M cat equation. So it's the mass, but in this case, it's the mass of the whole solution times the specific heat of, a, of the solution, and then times the, the temperature change, which is always final temperature minus initial temperature. All right, a couple of things to keep in mind with this equation, the Q equals M cat equation. We're gonna assume the specific heat capacity is essentially the same as pure water. And usually the problem says that. And pure water would be 4.18 under normal conditions, joules per gram per degree Celsius. So that's what you're gonna end up using for your, your specific heat capacity of the solution. As far as the mass is concerned, it's not just the mass of the water, and it's certainly not the mass of just the solute. It's the combination of the two. That's what the College Board is very emphatic about. For AP chemistry, you want to make sure it's water plus the mass of your solute. And that's what it says right here. Mass of solution, not just of the water. So let's do a little example problem and see how it works out. Here's the example problem. It says, what is the molar heat of solution? In other words, the delta H solution in kilojoules per mole for sodium hydroxide if 100 grams of water initially at 22.2 degrees Celsius increases to 42.8 degrees Celsius when 8.0 grams of sodium hydroxide dissolves. And again, this is usually given to you in the problem. Assume the specific heat capacity of the solution is 4.1 joules per gram per degree Celsius. That is the specific heat capacity of pure water. So we're just using that. All right, first thing we need to do is just have our little, move this up. There's essentially our equation. Again, the Q of the solution, and all we're doing is dividing that by the moles of solute. So let's first solve for the Q of the solution. We need to know the mass. mass of the solution times the specific heat capacity which is given the change in temperature which again is final minus initial 42.8 degrees Celsius is where we end so that's our final temperature 22.2 degrees Celsius is where we started so that's our initial temperature so plugging those numbers in I've got my change in temperature final temp minus initial temp the specific heat capacity of the solution which is essentially just what we're using is water and here for our mass, again, it's the 100 grams of water plus the 8.6 grams of solute, the sodium hydroxide that we did dissolve. When you punch those numbers into your calculator, 100 plus 8.60, significant figures when you add, we just have 108.6. This is the same. 20.6, and it's a positive change in temperature, 20.6 degrees Celsius. 
Then when you multiply, you simply get positive 9,351 joules. That is our Q for the solution, the heat change. Move that up a tiny bit. All right, so now we know our Q of solution. So what do we need to know now? Well, first of all, this is in joules. So we might need to change that to kilojoules. We can do it later or we can do it now. We might as well do it now. Uh, to change from joules to kilojoules, you are simply dividing by a thousand. So for every 1,000 joules, there's one kilojoule. After we punch that in our calculator, we get 9.351 kilojoules, positive 9.351 kilojoules. Okay, so this is now going to be our numerator. Oops, here, let's put that in. <laughs> 9.351 kilojoules, our numerator. This is what's in the parentheses. Now, don't forget the sign here. Because this positive 9.351 kilojoules is the perspective of the surroundings, but we're trying to solve the heat of solution, which is the, from the perspective of the solute dissolving. In any case, we just have to divide by the moles of solute, and that's really easy to find. Moles of solute, we have 8.60 grams of sodium hydroxide using the molar mass, which is approximately 40 grams. Using the molar mass of sodium hydroxide, punch that into our calculator, 8.6 divided by 40, you get 0 0.215 moles sodium hydroxide. That is going to be our denominator, 0 0.215 moles. And as you can see right here, we have kilojoules over moles. That's exactly the units that we wanted to solve for in our change of heat, our delta H, heat of solution. So all we gotta do is divide now. And we get, and it is negative, 43.493 kilojoules per mole, so that's a negative, or rounding the three significant figures, 43.5 kilojoules per mole and it is negative. This should make sense that delta H being negative means it's exothermic. Being exothermic, the dissolving process means it would have given off heat. Where did the heat go? The heat went into the surrounding water, which is the thing that we're actually measuring, which is why the water temperature, the solution temperature went up by however many degrees it went up, 20 something. All right, there you go.